Welcome to our problem solving tutorials. Today we will be talking about the problem solving strategy of using logical reasoning. Many students find logical reasoning to be one of the easier of the problem solving strategies for them to use. Hopefully you'll find that to be the same case. And if so, if you end up just loving logical reasoning by the end of our problem solvers, let me know and I have a couple different books that I can make you copies of. Simpler ones are even much more extravagant than the ones we will be doing during our tutorials. So, I have chosen for this tutorial, as you would see on your problem solver paper as well, to make a matrix to help organize my information. There are a couple other ways that you could go about organizing the information. However, I do feel that this is the best way to keep our work organized and efficient, and therefore this will be the strategy that we will use. The first thing all good problem solvers do is read the problem. I will read it to you. As everyone leaves the table after lunch, Stephen chuckles and says, I can't believe we're all brothers and sisters. We sure have different interests. Everyone laughs and agrees. Their favorite sports are football, surfing, skateboarding, softball, ice skating, and swimming. And each person participates in a different sport. Arnie, Renee, and Jack have an excellent sense of balance. Neither Jack nor Renee likes contact sports. Enid and Arnie love the water, but Enid is allergic to salt water. Jack likes cold weather sports the best. Renee wears knee pads, and Paula always wears her cap backwards. Can you match each person with a sport? So I need to ask myself, what is this question asking? It wants to know which sibling plays which sport. What I have done at the bottom is rewrite a sentence, because my answers are, of course, in complete sentences. So I've rewritten a sentence, so all I need to do is plug in my information after I find my solution. I also need to set up a matrix. Luckily, our matrix has been set up for us. We know that there are six sports, football, surfing, skateboarding, softball, ice skating, and swimming. Those have been arranged along the top row of our matrix. We also know that if there's six sports and each person participates in a different sport, there must be six siblings. I'm going to go through my problem to find the different siblings. It starts off with Steven talking to his siblings, so I have Steven. Then as I read on, Arnie, Renee, and Jack are referenced. I see Arnie, Renee, and Jack. The line underneath, I see something about Enid. It talks about Arnie again, but I don't need to relist him. And then later on in the problem, I see something about Paula wearing her hat. I have now found my six siblings that will correspond with my six different sports. Let's begin. I know that I'm going to start with this clue because it's my first clue that I see. Arnie, Renee, and Jack have an excellent sense of balance. That leads me to believe that I need to figure out which sports have the best balancing. Football, well, as we know, all sports require balance as you need to stand during them and you need to balance it some, in some way, but some require more balance than others. I don't know that football, softball, or swimming are my sports that involve balance. I would guess that surfing and skateboarding, because I'm standing on a board with both feet, as well as ice skating, probably require the most balance. The problem told us that Arnie, Renee, and Jack have good balance. I could at this point probably cross off the sports for each of them that don't require balance, such as Arnie does not play football because it's not one of the balancing sports. He doesn't play softball and he doesn't swim because I know he needs to do one of these three balancing sports. Same with Renee and Jack. I can put X's in for them or I don't have to. I could wait till later and make sure that I pick the right balancing sports. So, I'm going to look to my next clue. My next clue states that neither Jack nor Renee like contact sports. So Jack and Renee probably are not playing football. We've already noted that. It goes on then that Enid and Arnie love the water, but Enid is allergic to salt water. So my two water sports are swimming and surfing. Swimming is done typically in swimming pools, and surfing would be done in the ocean, which is salt bait water. And since Enid is allergic to salt water, she cannot be the surfer. And then, she, if she's one of our water-based people, she must be a swimmer, which also tells me that nobody else can swim, and Enid cannot participate in any other sports. It also made a reference, please pause, 